War Robots matches are played between teams of six players. In this video, we will explain how the game assembles those teams. War Robots matchmaking system is all about leagues. There are several main leagues in the game. As you win battles, you gain league rating points and slowly progress from recruits to champions. Your teammates and opponents are assigned to you according to your league rating. No other factors play into the calculation. When someone taps to battle, the game creates a matchmaking room and starts looking for players with a similar league rating. The game finds the first opponent, the person with the rating closest to yours, then the first teammate, same logic here, then the second opponent, the second teammate, and so on. If there are no players with a similar rating in the queue at this very moment, the matchmaking mechanism moves on and expands its searching range. As the waiting time increases by fractions of a second, the matchmaking criteria get more and more flexible. The mechanism will still be looking for the closest rating values, but now it will not hesitate to invite players from the neighboring leagues. There are limits, of course, beyond which the criteria will never expand, though usually the match starts way before those limits are reached. On Android, for example, it normally takes less than 8 seconds for an expert league player to find a match. When players assemble a squad, the game looks for the highest rating value among the squad members. That value will determine the rating of the squad's opponents. One more rule is applied. Within a certain time window, the matchmaking mechanism will only try to match your squad against other squads. Only when that time is up, the game starts adding single players to the room. Finally, when the match has started, the game will still wait for up to 45 seconds before discarding the matchmaking room. If a player leaves the fight during these 45 seconds, the game will find a replacement. That's why you sometimes drop into battle a bit later than the rest of your team. And that's pretty much it. The calculations behind the matchmaking process might be complex, but its idea is simple. Find two teams of six players with as small rating difference as possible and do it quickly.